Hello my fellow YouTubers, it's me here, Princess Shorty. Um, I just want to come on here and let you guys know what's pretty much going on with me and my hair. Um, I have this much left to do with this bobby pin. Um, I Today is Saturday. I started my hair on Monday. Um, I got a lot done Monday night and then Tuesday my friend braided the middle of my hair, which is the shorter hair that's probably like this long. It's not tight at all. And then... Um, Wednesday, I just wore this really cute scarf to work with my hair in a ball so no one could really see. And then Thursday, um, and then Wednesday I came home, I braided more of this, and then I also braided, um, and then I also braided the front of my hair. I'm trying to really work on the lighting, but if it's daytime, you know, you guys can see everything, but the lighting isn't so good here. So that's what I've done. Um... I just want to show you guys how I do it. I don't know if you guys were able to, to see it that well. I take a piece of hair. This is what this is what the hair looks like. I'm using the Bally hair, and this is called Twist Marley Braid. Okay, so it comes like this. You see that's the top, this is the bottom, let me go ahead and cut it out for you guys. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking it, cutting the string, the scissors are kind of dull, but that's okay. Okay, take it, cut that, then you have your hair. This is how long it is. If you want your hair this long, then don't cut it in half. Since I don't want it that long, that's crazy. I go, take it, cut it in half, and then I'm left with this. This is the part that is cut. And this is the part that is at the end. I like to just snip the end. To me, it makes it just a little bit easier when you go to separate the hair. And so I'm going to take the hair, split it into two pieces. There goes one. See, it looks kind of bad at the end, but it'll all straighten out. Take the other piece. Separate it a little bit more, make it more even. Okay, so that's that. I don't know, I may not even post, well yeah, I'll post the other video for you guys too, I don't know, we'll see. This is kind of me doing the same thing. What I use on my hair is butters and bars, shea butter. I put that on my hair, I did wet my hair a little bit today just because I want to make sure it's, um, I want to make sure that it's moisturized, being that, oh, what I'm about to tell you guys is that, yeah, I started on Monday. You guys are probably just like, wow, and it's Saturday today. So I took a break from braiding on Thursday and Friday because, one, I just didn't want to, and two, there were just some things I needed to get done. How my hair has been styled, just in case if you guys were wondering, is, you can see I curled the ends. I'll show you what I use. It just looks like this. Well... It was more even. So it just looked like this where I had the stuff under pinned up. I had the hair under pinned up like this in a little ball, which helps support my pompadour. What am I looking for? So yeah. So I take the hair that I sectioned off after I put on everything. This is the hair that's being held down. Um, this is pretty much what I do once I'm done with the braid. This is the perm rods I decided to use. I take it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. You may, even though the ends are tangled, um, I would suggest, and then I, I try to wrap it diagonally. And then I measure it with the rest, but these are kind of maybe going a little bit back. So I like them to have kind of a layered look. And then I just take it, dip it in my hot water, and then I'm done. Um, so I lost my train of thought. 
So yeah, so what I did was it's red in the front and black in the back. I take some of my organic root stimulator lock and twist gel. Put a little bit on my hands. Take it, put it down this one, put it down this one. I know people, my sister, when she normally braids it, she uses this stuff called Less Jam. Um, I really didn't want to put that in my hair because it's more so like a gel. And when I have twists in my hair, I only wash my hair, you know, um, I only wash it after like a month or so. So this is a piece of hair I'm using. Okay, I'm gonna try to take it. This is the hair. Here goes the fake hair. I take it. Okay, pull it through like that. So this is how it looks. My hair, fake hair, okay? But I still keep it in my two separate pieces. Okay, and then because I'm not like people that may be more experienced with braiding, I use my hair as a third piece. People that may be experienced braiders are gonna be like, oh, she's braiding a little bit different or if you think it's wrong, that's okay. For me, it's the right way. I don't mind it, I like it. And then I just kind of push that up. So then once I feel like I've braided down far enough, I take my hair as you can see it, and then I split it, and then let the twisting begin. And then I just twist it like you're just doing a regular twist. Um, in the beginning, I was like twisting it and then twisting, twisting it and then twisting. But I stopped doing that because I realized it's all the same. Um, one thing that I did want to show you guys really quickly, which you may find helpful, is because when you're twisting it, it kind of, um, when you're twisting it, it'll twist the braid too. And I'm a little heavy handed, so I don't want it twisting my braid because it hurts. Like, watch, I'm going to let it go. So you see it already started, it twisted back in its original direction. Sorry, I have no sense of direction on here. So what I do, I take the braid, take some hair that's already been braided, and then that way I can just twist it, be as heavy handed as I want, and it's not going to twist the root. Also helps me speed it up a little bit in reference to me doing my braid. Okay. And then I just keep twisting, keep twisting all the way down. I wanted these longer just because I want to be able to pull them back into a ponytail. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to, as you can see, this is what they look like. And this side looks kind of bad. I wanted it to be more so like a spiral type of curl, but I'm guessing because as you can see, the ends get thinner. Can you see that? The ends get, so this is the, let's, let me show you one. So here goes the root, okay. See, and it gets thinner. And so, it makes it a little bit difficult to twist. 